chances are you've probably played one or more Super Mario games in your lifetime. What you don't realize is that you've probably also played other video games that Mario has broken into. Cameo appearances, playable characters, and hidden secrets are just a few of the ways Mario has appeared. Check out 10 popular video games that Mario broke into. But before you do that, click subscribe. You'll join our notification squad and be the first to know of new content. Here we go! Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes the Metal Gear Solid franchise is known for its gritty graphics, realistic action, and mature content for players. This may make you wonder, why the heck is Mario in this game? Well, it's not only Mario, but Yoshi also makes a cameo appearance as well. I know what you're thinking, but no. Mario is not an extra mercenary with side missions and a sharp hunter's knife. He actually appears in the form of a stuffed animal. The Mario and Yoshi stuffed animals can be accessed when you enter Otakon's office. Quickly glance on the desk and you can't miss it. Among the dark contrasts and depressing environments is the brightly colored Yoshi and Mario dolls. The dolls are not just for decoration either. When Yoshi is hit, a sound effect will play. When Mario is hit, you can hear the signature Mario 1-Up sound and regain some of your health. Now Mario knows what it's like for those question mark boxes he's constantly pummeling to gain a quick health boost. The cameo really stands out and adds a small fun factor to the game. Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Mario is no stranger to hunting down monsters. King Koopa anyone? And that's why he's made an ideal fit for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. The Nintendo 3DS gaming adventure allows players to explore all types of land and terrain in an effort to hunt and destroy monsters. While going on quests to find the biggest and rarest monsters, you can bring a companion with you by the name of Palico. This is where the Mario cameo comes in. Palico is a whimsical cat creature that walks on two legs and wears a variety of different costumes. For anyone that pre-ordered Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate, Palico came with a special Mario bonus costume. It's pretty strange to see the cat fully dressed as Mario in a world full of monsters. Mario's signature overalls feature a cleverly placed hole on the backside so the cat's tail can stick out and wave freely while you explore. Also equipped with a giant hammer, the cat pounces and attacks, but sadly does not come with any fireballs. Along with Mario, you also had the option of unlocking a Luigi costume in the game. Tetris Many versions of Tetris now are never-ending puzzle games that can last for hours on a good day. When the game was originally released on the NES, it had different elements that featured more of a level structure. Once all the levels were defeated, players retreated to an animated cinematic that featured Mario and several of his friends. As the iconic Tetris music played in the background, a rocket ship launched in the center of the screen. On the sides were a variety of characters from the Mario franchise, cheering you on and celebrating the hard-fought victory. While Bowser, Princess Peach, and Luigi featured pretty basic but acceptable dance moves. It looks like Mario has had one too many Red Bulls. He erratically jumps up and down on the screen in some sort of weird dance and celebration. The bonus ending adds a nice nod to the Nintendo franchise and is followed up with a little card that states you are the Tetris master. Soon after, the similar Dr. Mario puzzle game was released and the Tetris crossover was never seen again. We Fit when playing games like Super Mario, Super Mario Galaxy, or the Super Mario Run app, you may feel inspired to do a little Mario-style running of your own. Players got the chance to do exactly that in the Wii Fit game. Using the Wii Fit board, players can exercise and jog through multiple levels filled with digital terrain. While the scenery was nice in these levels, you also had a chance to run and spot the original 8-bit Mario. Mario and the other original characters like Goombas would randomly appear around specific parts of the level. Sometimes their location was obvious, and other times it would be a little harder to spot them. After each course is complete, players could answer a fan quiz to see which characters were spotted in the game. While jogging alongside Mario is fun, it would have been better if some official Mario music got to play in the background. Thankfully, it's only a matter of time before some type of VR Mario puts players in the plumber's perspective. Metroid Prime 3 – Corruption Super Mario has had his own space adventures in the Galaxy series, but they were nothing compared to the epic space battles seen in Metroid Prime 3 – Corruption. The Wii exclusive game features a number of missions where players explore areas and even get to man their own ship. One of the highlights in the game was the ability to collect points and purchase decorations for the ship. 
It may seem odd adding bumper stickers to a sophisticated spaceship, but that's exactly what players had to do. And of course, a Super Mario bumper sticker is an option in the game. Gaining access to this sticker is not as easy as it sounds. Players must first reach achievements in other Mario games for the Wii. This includes Super Mario Galaxy or New Super Mario Brothers Wii Edition. Once the Metroid Prime game can see your Mario data, the bumper sticker can be unlocked and placed anywhere on the ship. It's just another fun way to increase Mario adventures in space. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time The Legend of Zelda and Super Mario Bros. have been linked for several years. Along with their clashes in the Smash Bros. franchise, programmers have often found ways to add easter eggs and special nods to each other through a variety of games. An example of this can be found in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. The classic Nintendo 64 title was a landmark game for the series and helped set the groundwork for future releases in the franchise. While exploring the open world as Link, players can enter Zelda's courtyard. The courtyard is filled with multiple rooms and different locations to explore. By stopping near one of the windows and jumping up, you can view a portrait of Mario along with his other franchise characters like Princess Peach, Bowser, and Luigi. The Mario portrait that appears in the game is taken directly from Super Mario 64. This was a fun little extra that helped expand game content and gave players a lot to discover. Minecraft Wii U Edition Multiple ports of Minecraft have allowed players to explore worlds, customize options, and use a variety of skins like The Simpsons, Star Wars, and Fallout. The Wii U Edition of Minecraft took things one step further by introducing the Super Mario add-on pack. Not only can you explore the world as Mario, but skins were available for dozens of other characters, including villains like King Koopa and Goombas. A multiplayer version of the game allows players to choose their skin and explore together. You could compete in Mario battles, build Princess Peach's castle, and create the perfect cave made for Koopa. The add-on download took things even further with a full Mario world to explore. This includes textures and designs seen in games like Super Mario 64, Super Mario 3, and other classic games. Platforms could be built for Mario and other characters to travel across. Through all of this, players could also enjoy a musical score taken directly from Mario 64. The whole Mario theme fits perfectly in the world of Minecraft and provides players with a lot of entertainment. 1080 Avalanche Selling over 1 million copies, the sports game 1080 Snowboarding was a huge success for the Nintendo 64 and eventually led to the sequel 1080 Avalanche. While Mario resisted appearing in the original game, he made sure he was in the sequel and he joined the franchise in a big way. Mario is not hidden or blended into some of the graphics in the background. He actually appears as a giant ice sculpture. In the night level entitled Angel Light Midnight City, players are treated to the giant Mario ice sculpture at the end of the level. A couple of digital characters are shown making the finishing touches to the ice and the sculpture is styled as the modern Mario. This is not the only time that Mario appears in the game. When playing as the character Ricky, you have the chance to unlock another Mario bonus. Ricky has a special board called the 8-Bit Soul. The board is a dedication to Ricky's love for classic games, and it features the original 8-Bit Mario plastered on the center bottom of the creation. A second board named Old School is in the shape of an original NES controller. The Binding of Isaac there have been many games that are considered a ripoff of the Mario franchise. These games steal elements, use similar characters, and try to take the same formula that made Mario a huge success. There are also some games that serve as an homage to the world of Mario. The PC game The Binding of Isaac is one of these games. When playing in multiplayer mode, there are similar designs and styles that are a dedication to Mario. Players can also play The Binding of Isaac using the Baby Plumber character. This character is a miniature version of Mario, which looks exactly like a baby but still sports that signature mustache. Other Mario-inspired characters also appear in the game. This includes Princess Peach, Luigi, and Toad. The designs are a lot more gritty than traditional Mario characters, but they are fun to explore and do battle with. Three types of mushrooms are also available for these characters. This includes a power-up mushroom, a one-up mushroom, and a mini mushroom that will shrink characters down. Now before we go on to our number one pick, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And for more awesome videos like this about comics, gaming, and more, subscribe to The Gamer on YouTube. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out There's no denying Mario's love for violence. When he's not smashing Goombas, shooting flames at piranha plants, or dropping Bowser into a pit of lava, he is simply smashing bricks for the heck of it. 
While Mario probably has fists of stone, he decided to enter the world of boxing as a referee. In Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, Mario replaces his trademark overalls with a referee shirt as he is one of the main stars of the game. The digital character pops up often, starting matches, making 10 counts, and declaring winners. It's too bad that he wasn't a bonus character that you could box with. Using Mario as a referee in the 1987 title was a great way to expand the character and help him become a household name. This was one of Mario's first cameo appearances and helped pave the way for future appearances. The only thing missing from the release was Mario's trademark voice calling out the boxers. Mario did get his chance to take on the Punch-Out boxers as Little Mac was included in the Super Smash Bros. Wii U roster in 2014. There you have it. What games have you seen Mario in? Are there any that we missed? Where should Mario show up next? Let us know in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to The Gamer on YouTube so you can stay up to date with our awesome videos.